So what's going on right now? Is the world sinking? Is the world about to revive? Is uh, Trump going to make it? Is there going to be a fight? Is there going to be stealing of elections? Like we did see in 2020. Come on, people, wake up. Um, all you have to do is vote. The only thing you personally can do is, in relationship to voting, is vote and get and convince as many of your friends, family, acquaintances, and others to vote. And that's what I'm doing right now. Vote, vote, vote. you got a few days left. Uh, those days make a difference. Um, don't believe anything you hear right now. Uh, the reason I'm saying that is no candidate, including our dear Donald Trump, has a, uh, a motive to, to tell the truth right now. Yes, yeah, certainly, I, he's a truthful man. Uh, and he's also a bombastic man, but he makes a fantastic president. And I don't care if you like him. I honestly do not care if you like him. I would, it would be good if you did. I do. I think he's got some wonderful qualities. Uh, but, you know, kind of keep reminding yourself of the human factor. You are human. He's human. And this is the way it works. We're all humans. And without that human factor... Nothing works. Um, Kamala has, uh, you know, I could just sit here and say Kamala lies. Everything she says is a lie. Well, you know, that has actually been proven, uh, whether you want to believe it or not. Now, she changed, they, they call her the chameleon because she changes, you know, for whoever she's talking to. Well, you know, that's, uh, that's kind of the way it's done, isn't it? Uh, that on its own self is not a problem. It's how it's used. It's uh, how it's used. Your your motivation. Your what you're trying to accomplish. Are you trying to accomplish good or bad? Are you trying to get a whole bunch of illegal aliens in here to to bolster your voting base to so that you can destroy this company and company <laughs> country and and uh, and 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 thereby increase your power, that it turns out the only thing that you're interested in is your power, and the condition of this country means nothing to you. This is what you're talking about. Listen to everything she says, because that's it all goes there. She wants power, but she, she does not care if she destroys this country. I, I think that if she could get power, maintain power, and make the country better, uh, there there would be a motive there too, but it's just not there. She cannot do it that way. She doesn't have the platform, the strength, or the will, or, or the backing. Anything that she does is not going to be what she says she's going to do. I, one of my favorite ones is, you know, no matter who you vote for, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth whether you want to hear it or not. Well, that statement is not uh, self-fulfilling. Uh, it She's not going to tell you the truth about anything. She's going to tell you whatever um, she thinks is going, or her people are going to think is going to give her more power. It's all about power, power, power. It's nothing about power except power. Now, if you look at it that way, you understand that them getting power is only going to hurt you. Don't fall for it. Trump, power? That man's got more power than he knows what to do with. Power is not in his wheelhouse. It just, he's already got it. Yeah, does he like it? Of course he likes it. Does he want to keep it? Of course he wants to keep it. Does he love this country? He has no reason. I'm going to do this here. Hold on for a second. He has no reason to run for president um, that includes giving him more power. He's already got it. Matter of fact, if anything, he's he's the only president in modern history, or shut up for all I know, forever, that is worth less Worthless. He's not worthless, that's for sure. His net worth is less now than when he started politics because he is not trying to build his power base. He's trying to love his country and do for his country what he sees the only way he knows how to do it. And and yeah, if and he's still him. He's never going to not be him. He's, he's who he is. But he loves this country, and he will do, and has done, and has proven that he will do everything in his power to make this country more 
powerful, safer, stronger, and have and, and more uh, self-achieving with a better, uh, well, the economy, obviously, you know. And, and pe people, people, this is the main question I've heard asked so many times. Ask yourself, are were you better off under Trump than you were under Biden? And you already know the answer to that. I cannot imagine a human being in this country who cannot say I was better off under Trump than I was under Biden. Now, if you happen to be an illegal alien, you're a, you're a felon. And it, it, and it really doesn't matter to me if a felon is better off under Trump, although he, in a way he probably is. Uh, that, that, that's wrong thinking, guys. Come on. Uh, uh, felons kind of have their own agenda, too, you know, and it has to do with their own power. Oh, wait a minute. So felons and Kamala are in the same group. Starting to catch on here. Um, everything that she's ever said, if you go back and, and view it from what she said and compare it to what she did, you're going to find out that it had nothing to do with making this place, country, a better place to live. Everything that Trump said versus everything he did does have to do with making this country a better place to live. And if you disagree with him, as I do on some instances, just look at it from your point of view, look at it from his point of view, and say which one's better for the country. And I'm going to tell you straight now, right now, that there are things that I would prefer to see happen that when I look at it, that view, and I've done this and I've talked to my wife about it, and we've discussed this, and it turns out that there are views that I have that I would like to things that I would like to see that are not necessarily better for the country. And I have begun now to take is it better for the country into a stronger action pool than is it better for Rex Frizzle. And if if you go back to Kennedy and his inauguration speech you know, he, he said something so bold, I'm wondering if that statement didn't get him killed. He said, ask not, now that's kind of a, a pretty way of saying it, you know, he, he's tried to be a little bit poetic there, but he said, ask not, he said, which what's that mean? Do not ask. Children, do not ask. Well, he was talking to adults, so he said, ask not what your country can do for you. He said, straight up, in, in office for the first 10 minutes, and he said to the entire country, do not ask what this country can do for you. Don't do it. I prefer that you ask what can you do for this country. And once you do that, we're all stronger than any one of us. And that makes us a better country to live in. And then ultimately, <laughs> they like trickle down. I don't care about that word one way or the other. If you want to use it, I don't care. I try not to. But if this country is a better place... It will be better for you. If you try to make it better for you, without considering the country, you have not attained a, a, a solid stand of knowledge. Do what's good for this country. And if it goes against your personal beliefs, you've got to work on that one. If your belief system is going to put this country in jeopardy, I really want you, I'm not going to tell you what to do, that's up to you, that's what freedom's about, but I'm going to ask you to consider if your desires, wants, needs, and actions are not better for the country, I want you to really seriously ask yourself, uh, consider your motives. Yeah, consider your motives, please. Now... I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to tell anybody what to do. I'm going to tell you that if you break the law, I am in favor of the law taking care of you. Now, if you look at how the law works, you break the law, you did something bad, they arrest you, and they put you in jail. First thing you're going to do is say, get me out of here. You know, if it, in any way you possibly can, get a lawyer, find out how they did something that, well, was put in motion to protect you. you. You you might just say, hey, I'm really sorry I did that. I now see the error in my ways. I should not do that. And you can put yourself at the leniency of the of the court. And the court may say, I think I think this man's uh, 
is repentant and we we will give him another chance. We're still going to punish him, but not nearly as strongly. You see, this is how the law works. It works towards, in, in, a, in an ideal situation, I guess, it works towards making the country better. And if making giving you a, a chance that you can be uh, reticent, reticent, that's not the word, um, but show remorse, and and by showing remorse, say, wait a minute, I'm on a new path, and I'm going to try to teach others how to be on a new path. Some of the best counselors and people who have uh, taken it upon themselves to to work with those who have committed crimes when they get out in order to prevent what they call recidivism. I think I said that right. In other words, if a guy has committed a crime, he did his time, he was remorseful, he got out, you don't want to see him back in jail. And you see, these are the types of things that make the country better. Trump will and fight for every bit of that. He is not the guy that's going to say, well, you you were against me. You said the, your policies were wrong in the past. I'm going to put you in jail. Hey, the people who are fighting him the worst and in the worst um, satanic ways trying to take him down right now, I'm going to tell you that it's my personal belief, although they're screaming, oh, if you put Trump in, he'll put us all in jail. Well, <laughs> he he, come on. He's one man. He doesn't have that much time, power, or impetus. He won't have the time to be putting you people in jail. He never put Hillary in jail. He just said, look at, just as a, as a country, look at what these people have done. And don't let them do it again. That's all he said. He didn't, he didn't go after anybody. It's not, he doesn't have time for it. He's got a huge job to straighten out the mess that this country's been put in. And individual retribution against people who are against him is not on his menu. He, you know, he can talk about it one way or the other. People will say what he's going to do and all. He didn't have time for all that. That that mess is just, is just a distraction. He knows it, and he's not going to allow it. Now, are there people who should, I hate to use that word, should, um, it would be a best for them to be put away because of the things that they've done to destroy this country. Absolutely. And I'm going to say, let the people that have, you know, um, regained control and are supporting the good, the, the, the greatness of this country. If, if those people decide that, that, uh, it's, it's time to put a few of them away. Uh, well, fine. Yeah, absolutely do it. But as far as uh, some kind of mass gulag thing, that's not Trump. That that's communist. That's what the people that are in power right now do. How did how is it that Steve Bannon got put in jail? But he, luckily he's out. Boy, is he a powerhouse right now. He's looking better. He sounded better, and he doesn't. Um, he, he wants things straightened out. He, he he's not going after people that that, that did this to him. He, he he's just saying the truth. He's going to announce. Look. I was treated unfairly and, uh, you know, and we don't want this to be, keep happening. Same thing with Flynn, man. What they did to Flynn was, you know, just, oh my God, it was, it was, it was outrageous. It was, uh, it was devilish. And yet these are people who are saying, we don't have the time to go after the people that did this to us. Some need, some need that. Some, some, some need to be taken out, but that's not, you know, uh, Vengeance's mind saith the Lord. I, I, I think uh, the Lord had a pretty good head on his shoulders when he said that. Uh, that's a funny way of putting it, isn't it? So you guys, you my lovelies, my beautiful people that listen this long, I love you. God bless you. God, God, God come into your heart, give you peace and strength and the will to hear and, and, and the will to, to do the work of the Lord and the knowledge and wisdom that when these words of these lies and slanders come before you, that they'll fall to your feet and crash into a million pieces because you already recognize them. Just let it happen. And don't let it, don't let it into your heart. Don't let it disturb you. Just be blessed with the peace of God and make decisions that make this country better. And I thank you so much for listening to this. And please uh, pass this on as you see fit. Some, um, 
please uh, comment as you see fit. I've had some, really, that, that's starting to take off. I get a lot more comments than what you guys see. I, I get lots of emails and stuff. That I don't know why, uh, the even me, the, the, the algorithms just won't show what, what's actually going on. But you know what? I don't have time to play with that. I've got to go now. Um, I think one of the, they're flagging me at one of the doctors. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's time to go doc doc. Okay, so I love all you people. God bless you. Bless others. Bless your families um, in, in peace. And, 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 and if you have not asked Jesus into your heart, please take this moment and say, Dear Lord Jesus, I know you died for me. I know that there's no way I can earn a path to heaven, but you did that for me, and I thank you, and uh, I accept you as my Savior. And that, that's, that really gets it because he's pretty much not going to leave you alone after that. He's pretty much not going to leave you alone anyway. The Holy Spirit come upon them. In Jesus' name, I love you. Rex out.